What's up YouTube? Andre here guys, back with another video. Today guys, we're going to be doing something fun with an Android device. I'm going to be using my Sony XZ Premium um, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the iOS 11 notification center on your phone. This is a cool little gimmick, a cool little trick. So let me just show you what the actual notification looks like. Okay guys, so if you enjoyed that preview of the notification center, I'm going to show you how to get it guys. Back in the days, you probably would have had to root your Android device and stuff like that, which would have taken a long time. However, it's very, very simple. All you need to do is just download one app from the Play Store and you've pretty much got it. So I'll show you guys how to set it up. When I initially got this uh, notification center, I honestly didn't expect to use it day to day because I just thought it was going to be more of a gimmick or a little trick. But I honestly found myself using it more than I would like to admit to. It's just such, such a convenient way to, to use it. Okay guys, so let me show you how to set this up. Alright guys, so it's really really simple. Like I said, all it is is just one app from the Play Store. So uh, head over to your Play Store. And the app is called Control Center iOS 11. Search for that in the Play Store and uh, install it. Now once you've downloaded the app, all you need to do is go back to your home screen and find the app. The app looks like this and it says control center on there. So just tap on that. Essentially you have some little introduction, step by step guide. And then it gives you a couple of options here guys to set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the size first. As you can see there's a little red um, sort of button there. Which you can also put it on the, on the side to open up, give permission. Let's give this app permission to, um, to use the phone. So yeah, like I said, you can always um, have it on the side here if you want. Um, I like it at the bottom just because it's a natural thing to do. Okay, so um, I also want to make it a little bit bigger in terms of the size of the th um, of the little touch at the bottom. Um, you can see that resizing. I want to make it as big as possible for me. Actually, I don't like that. About 75%. Uh, the color that I want to use for it is sort of black, but then I want to reduce the transparency so you can barely see it. I don't know if you can see that, but that's more of a sort of very transparent black, grayish color. And I like that because I don't exactly want to see it on the screen. Now, there's also one more menu, guys, showing everything. So you can pretty much have it on all apps. You can have it on the home screen as well and also on the lock screen. Um, I like to keep it just on the phone itself, so I have to unlock the phone to access the notification center. So let's just go back on that. Then you have color, which is pretty much the same thing. Uh, position takes you back to the same thing again. Uh, background, you can have your transparent, you can have your current wallpaper, uh, screen blur behind and default background. I'm gonna leave it as a default background, which is the one for iOS 11. Now guys, if you go into music control, you can actually select your music player. So for me, I like to use Spotify for my music. And uh, select that and go back. Vibration, touch to open, and I've never actually tried this. I guess you just touch to open, that's cool, that's cool. I might keep that on. Uh, show notifications um, and then the rest guys I don't actually use. That's pretty much it. All you need to do is download it and essentially you can see it here guys, control center. Uh, if you press it will stop uh, the application. So there you are, you have it. Now all you need to do is just slide from the bottom and you have your iOS 11 notification center. Guys what I really really like as well is if you hold on your volume you can actually turn the volume for the music, the system as well as the ringtone up or down which is really really cool. If you hold on the brightness, just like an iPhone, you're, you're brought to this brightness screen where you can turn auto brightness off and on also. I like to have it manual, it says battery life. Lock screen guys, this locks the orientation of the screen. Then you have screen timeout guys, so if you press on that, you select um, how many seconds, how many minutes you want your screen to time out after. I prefer on 30 seconds. You can turn your Wi-Fi off and on from here, airplane mode, Bluetooth, which is really, really convenient. You have torch. Now, the first time you use this, you have to allow it, give permission for it to use it. So slide up again, turn the torch on. The icon changes as well, so you can see that the torch is on. So I'll show you that, guys. Torch is on. And if you do torch off, torch is off. Brilliant. Then you have your sort of timer. Um, now you, the first time you use this, you do select an app. Now I like to use the official clock app from Sony. If you guys want, you can assign this button to any app and essentially it will open that app. 
which is really cool. Then you have calculator guys. Again, using it for the first time, you have to select the calculator app that you want to use. I'm going to use the official Sony one. Let's go back on that. Then you have the camera icon. If you press that, it opens up the camera. Uh, it is a little bit slow in opening up the camera, but that's probably the only issue that I have with this notification center. Guys, this looks amazing and it's just a cool little trick to use with your, with your Android phone. I'm just going to show you guys what the background is like. So if you change it to uh, transparent, I think that might look a little bit better. So it just has all your apps in the background. Background. If you change it to current wallpaper, it will have this current wallpaper. It just blurs the background, which kind of looks cool as well. Now, I don't know if you've seen me do this or not. Uh, if you want to dismiss the notification sensor, all you do is just slide down or you can slide to the left or you can just slide it to the right and um, it will get dismissed. So that's pretty cool, guys. So that's the notification sensor on the new iOS 11 guys and that's how to get it on your Android device. If you do want to get rid of it, delete it after that. All you need to do is find the app that you downloaded and just delete the control center app. But yeah guys, I'm actually going to keep it on for a little longer. Um, it's starting to grow on me so it might end up being a permanent thing, you never know. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you really and really enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button here or here or it might just be here or here. If you guys didn't enjoy the video, at least I hope you got something useful out of the video today and uh, yeah, have a good day.